Once again, welcome to this mobile edition of the Lucha Lounge. I know it's been a little while. Have I? I've had a hectic couple of weeks uh, trying to trying to get a new vehicle. Um, PWA. I actually got my first singles win last show against Tank Bishop with Super Kick, and then the following night at PCW, I lost to Tim Storm at Shock and All. So uh, one for one. But uh, this is a new week, and um, I'm actually on my way to PCW. Uh, this, this is the first week of their Fight, Win, Survive um, annual event uh, teams. I'm on the Living Legends team, along with Aaron Eagle, who is uh, kind of shot up to the main event. Um, he's the team captain. Uh, you've got Matt Palmer, new kid, very energetic, can do a lot of stuff out there, and uh, a lot of potential. Action Jackson, Texas legend. And uh, Wally Darkman, a uh, very good friend of mine, and also um, the only other Grand Slam winner at PCW, and yours truly. So, uh, different kind of set of circumstances this time around uh, as opposed to years past. It's actual team versus team, uh, which is not new, but um, you don't know what event you're in or what your match consists of, or even your opponent, so until you go out there. So uh, it's a very unique um, take on things, and I'm looking forward to it. But I uh, had a, a bit of trouble getting a vehicle. I actually went to McDavid Nissan, and they gave me a 2008 Versa. Oh, no, 2009 Versa, actually, and gave me the keys and said everything was all up on the up and up. Everything was good. And then they called me about four days later and said, we need our car back. Um, your credit didn't, didn't pan out. And I do have a couple of credit problems, I'm not going to lie. But I uh, went to Robbins Nissan in Humble, Texas, and uh, got myself a 2004 Lincoln LS, a true pimp mobile in the old school meets new school style. And I think the LS stands for, I know it's a luxury sedan, do you like luxury? But um, it's actually, for me, it stands for looking sexy, because my car is looking sexy. I'll probably show it to you as time goes on. Um, and I'll cover what happens when I get to uh, PCW and then probably the post, post-match post comments and whatnot. So be looking forward to that. And I'll talk about Ring of Honor uh, probably in the next or the video after this. And my gripe with my cable company. Not a real gripe, not a real gripe. Um, but I didn't get to watch it for certain reasons. Anyway, talk to you soon. Well, it's actually uh, Tuesday night, and I meant to do this on Saturday night. I meant to do this on Sunday uh, or Monday, but I had kind of a hectic week. So um, my match ended up being against Apocalypse, who is the PCW television champion, as well as the self-proclaimed best in the world. Um, and he is the captain of the best team in the world um, for Fight Win Survive at PCW. So it's kind of a big matchup. He's actually the first guy ever faced on television at PCW way back when. So we've had a little history. We've had a few matchups. Um, now the, the the match actually was uh, um, you could only win by hitting a certain move, and you have to hit the move and then go for the pin. That would be the only way you could win if you defeated him that way. And uh, it was a super kick match. So uh, we both throw it. Uh, he's beaten some opponents, and I have a long history with the move. So um, he was pretty smart, though. He went after my uh, left knee. He knows I have some issues with it, so he went after it, um, trying to negate my advantage with the uh, sexy kick, as I like to call it. I actually. Uh, nailed him once and he rolled out of the ring and it seems to be happening a lot where I nail a guy with that sexy kick and they you know I need to actually work on nailing him in the middle of the ring so that they don't fly out of the ring uh, and the ref kept helping him out kept you know there were a few times where I actually um, had APOC all in my sights ready to deliver the death blow once again and uh, Travis Trueborn actually got in my way so unfortunately he got to taste the foot and uh, 
right in the face. Man, it felt good. Uh, <clears throat> actually, did end up uh, winning, so helped my team out. The living legends, as I found out, and uh, it was actually a fun show. I, I have uh, a blast when I'm at PCW. So, um, you know, keep the drama at home or on my soap operas or at, in WWE television and uh, really don't bring it there. So, uh, this week I actually have a show on the 8th, I believe, for uh, WOW and then possibly the 9th. Good old uh, Coastal Championship Wrestling is starting up again, I believe. I've been told there have been rumors. I haven't spoken to uh, the promoter yet, so if he sees this, uh, you know, give me a call. Let me know. If I hear enough from other guys, I may show up, or if you call me, um, and that'll be another road show in the fabulous-looking sexy. Um, well, since it's Monday and Tuesday have passed, uh, Monday we had kind of uh, a watch raw. Eh. I like the Noble and Regal stuff. Uh, Jericho and Trunks, thought I'd never see that. Um, what else? Like in Noble and Regal. Um, Adam Lee, I'm going to give him a chance as GM. Hopefully it'll give it excuses to have like these original matches, these matches they have they couldn't conceive of before. Uh, Cena and Batista, really didn't see the point. Um, because I felt like I liked Rhodes and uh, DiBiase. I thought, wow, young guys, you know, they're getting a little bit of a rub, but I would have preferred them keeping the title somehow, even if they just, you know, sk skated out. Um, ECW, Evan Bourne continues to impress. Um, the dirt sheet, eh, it's kind of flat. I mean, throwing out Conan references aside, uh, I was looking forward to an actual, you know, they were making an emphasis on the inter internet and their WWE.com and their videos and such, so uh, caught Ring of Honor on Sunday, um, Strong and, and Stevens, wow, I mean, got to hand it to those guys. Um, tag match was pretty solid, Tyler Black uh, continues to impress, I think a lot of my uh, friends are impressed with him, um, so big up to him. Like I said, uh, 8th and 9th hopefully will be a busy weekend for me. Um, I go back to PCW on the 30th. Um, PWA is on the 22nd. Not sure if I'm on that one yet, even though I did get a victory last show. But anyway, uh, my next vid, I I'm thinking... I'm probably going to do this at some point pretty soon, is actually going to be what I feel is really missing in wrestling today. I mean, what's really missing, especially on the independent scene, but uh, in my opinion, as a, as a, as a worker um, and wrestler, and one in the wrestling business for as long as I've been in it, uh, still young in the business though, uh, after eight years. I feel there's something missing, and I'm going to address it in my next vid, so keep an eye out for that. But uh, these road shows, you know, Lucha Mobile or Mobile Lucha or something to that effect will continue to build steam, and i got some stuff in the works right here. Um, if you haven't read it, get Watchmen and read it before the buzz. I'm sure most of you have, but I would advise you to read The Watchmen or another graphic novel aside from Powers which is one of my favorites Bike Club trade paperback look it up uh, Pineapple Express coming out whole lot going on so uh, guys stay cool stay sexy stay classy but you know what you already are cuz guess where you're at that's right the Lucha Lab.